Now the latest developments in this weekend's police shooting. Cranston officers opened fire at a suspect across city lines in Providence after they say he pointed a gun at them. Sean Sykes was shot in the arm and appeared in court today. New at 6, an eyewitness tells us if Sykes had anything to say when he was taken into custody. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell joins us now with more live in the capital city. Shannon, that eyewitness tells me Sykes was losing a lot of blood and he says the suspect seemed to be under the influence of something when he was taken into custody. And at 2.35 in the morning, the man shot by Cranston police appearing in court with his arm bandaged and in a sling. Police say early Saturday morning, two patrol officers tried to pull over Sean Sykes, suspecting him of drunk driving. Police say Sykes refused to stop and led them on a short chase into Providence, eventually getting out of his car and pointing a gun at the officers. Cranston patrolman Robbins discharged his firearm at Sykes who fled on foot into the backyard of 575 Plainfield Street. Uh, a search of the surrounding area was initiated. Mr. Sykes was located behind 16 Duxbury Street. That's where Steve James lives. This is where they caught him. He saw the whole thing. My shirt was off. Um, he was face down. Uh, he was cuffed. He wasn't saying much. He was pretty much in shock because they did shoot, you know, they shot him. I believe they shot him in the arm. He was losing a lot of blood, so he was pretty much in shock. Police say they recovered a 22 caliber firearm near the scene. They say they also seized suspected crack cocaine that they found in Sykes' pocket. Sykes is facing a slew of charges, including assault with a dangerous weapon and carrying a pistol without a license. On those charges, he's being held on $75,000 bail with surety. Sykes is also facing a fugitive charge out of Virginia. On that charge, he's being held without bail. The shooting remains under investigation. Live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.